Okay, hi. Good morning from Shanghai. Okay, in front of the reader, we can see a very handsome, smart guy from German who scored Swan from course and. Uh, uh, maybe uh, I say good morning first, and this is part two of the Shanghai Chai Show 2018 uh, at Shanghai. And I, I, I'm wondering how comes a German handsome young guy will come to Shanghai for a toy show? It's very funny. Hi. So, when? Hello. Hey, good morning, everybody. Uh, yeah. So, I want to know, uh, would you mind to uh, introduce course to our audience? Well, yes, sure. Um, course is um, basically uh, Mark Landwehr and me, and um, we started in 2003 um, and uh, developed like coys, uh, <laughs> coys, like toys developed by us, like Solibus. We don't rely on any licenses, and all designs are like originally um, designed by us and also produced by us. Okay. So the the course including Sven yourself and Mark, right? You you, do, you two guys work as a team, right? Exactly. We like when we are designing, it is mostly like playing tennis, like uh, developing an idea and just shove it around and around since it's like uh, in the shape we like it. Okay. But how comes your your, your products or your create creations is you know the number is so the quantity is so rare is so few. Well, that's mostly because we think like something um, is that is rare is like more valuable not only by counting money but also by by um, the value and to, to you as a collector or to us so we don't like to overdo it with like um, big productions and like huge production numbers so you don't have plan to make uh, you know a larger quantity like a few hundred please no um, we actually do we have like two separate lines um, as you can see here in the background are mostly originals they are from resin and they are um, um, and quantities, uh, as you can see here, like quantities of three, oh, uh, so limited yeah. to three. Only three. Oh. There's um, a lot of effort going into those, if, as you can see with the painting and everything. And um, also on the to the right, we have like some vinyl pieces, like completely to the right, those omens. These are um, mostly limited to, um, we have left runs from 200 to 400 pieces roughly. Oh, that's more reasonable. Yeah, so, absolutely. Yeah, because, you know, actually the vinyl toys now in China is like a, you know, like a popular culture. So many people start, young people start to buy or collect them. Mm, right. Yeah. We, we noticed that, that as well. And we are completely new to China, which uh, we are super excited about how the market will react yeah. to us yeah so you can sense the passion of the collectors these two days right absolutely um, the the thing is that that uh, um, while we are standing here and like uh, setting up the booth for example um, so we are seeing seeing a lot of people running around <laughs> and um, queuing for, for for stuff they want to collect so um, we're for sure feeling the energy of the people that are like passionate about their collectors yeah. Do you know there's over 1,000 people queuing up outside? Oh, I didn't know that. I, I saw like a, um, a long line, but um, then uh, I didn't count them. <laughs> but I think uh, more than 1,000 people are uh, queuing up. That's pretty amazing. Yeah, yeah. So I think uh, you, 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 do you expect, you know, uh, what is your expectation of this show? Um, <laughs> actually, um, I was asked that yesterday and I cannot say that I have any expectation I'm just like completely overwhelmed by uh, people um, coming by our booth and are interested in our stuff and um, I heard from a lot of people that I like the stuff um, we're doing um, so um, like this this always gives me like a good feeling yeah, so uh, you, you are you are the designer so would what 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 products or what creations uh, you would recommend to the collectors in Shanghai uh, just just tell us and introduce uh, give some brief introduction to your products here recommend I would like every piece but if you want to explain to me something what I really find um, um, yeah, show us please. <laughs> we have for example let's take piece we have for example this one which is a um, um, Shanghai toy show exclusive it's a glow-in-the-dark piece and it's a piece from our story cycle code ways mm -hmm. and I um, um, especially like this um, piece because for once I like I really like the color scheme and how the GID the glow-in-the-dark turns out and also 
Um, this is one figure that also featured in uh, the book that was written by Andrew Greenberg and um, I did illustrations for that. Maybe we can move, move over there to have a glimpse. How many pieces of this will we produce? Um, this the, one... It, it doesn't be mentioned. Um, <laughs> is, isn't it on a, on a pencil? No, it isn't. So I, w I would say like 200, but um, don't get me wrong on that. I have to check that. Okay. <laughs> yeah, otherwise you will receive many complaints that I cannot buy one. Uh-oh. <laughs> So this is just uh, the book we've, uh, we're doing and uh, the whole um, character or the figure is based on that book. So um, I'm particularly um, proud on that one because like, it is uh, also available in, in a form of another media. Okay. So is this book for sale? This book is for sale. It's on sale here. And if you uh, buy it here on STS, uh, we will be glad to sign it. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So uh, the collectors or fans are in from Shanghai or China, yeah, go, come, come and have a swing autograph. Okay, yeah. <laughs> okay. So any more? No, no more recommendations. Uh, a lot of <laughs> as, as I already said, I recommend everything. But um, yeah, yeah. Well, how, how about this one? Is it made of wood? Yeah, that's uh, actually made complete of wood and polished and uh, um, um, finished by hand. Yourself, right? Yeah. No, not only me. Like oh, a lot of people are involved okay. in that pro uh, process. A lot of people of our team. Okay. So only one piece made, right? This one is limited to one. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. But yeah, if one day th this this sold, you will make it again or another piece just similar? We would never do like the same piece oh, again okay. because when we say it's limited to one, it is definitely yeah, limited yeah. to one. And yeah. we, if we would do another piece, like <laughs> collectors will bash our head. Oh. So um, some people, uh, some pieces we really really like. And it might be that we are um, doing, for example, a resin version or something mm -hmm. out of it, but this is not yet decided. For sure, if you are like the lucky one who buys that piece, you yeah. have a unique piece, and that's guaranteed. Yeah, yeah. I, I hope uh, one if they, it was sold, and, and we hope that there's a vinyl version look like uh, wooden, uh, it could be sell in the market, it would be wonderful. Yeah, that, that would be wonderful. But first we have to find out how to make like vinyl that looks wooden. Uh, I think I think I think the production quality now can do it. Yeah. 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 Uh, we have to test it. Maybe we we're gonna look at it. Yeah. 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 Hopefully. Yeah. Okay. Cool. And how about this? This one also in wooden. Yeah, that's also wooden, but this time it's a mixture between resin and wood. Okay. So we found it very interesting to combine two materials and set them together and see how they work together. Okay. And so that's a, that's a nice result of a lot of that. And also, like all the um, pieces here in this section are based uh, on the characters in the book. Yeah. Actually, there's a lot of cool stuff here at your booth. So, um, so uh, all of them are for sale or something, only for display uh, that you can show us? Yeah, that's that's pretty mixed. Um, do you want to see something that's not? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, yeah. let's move over here. This will be more, you know, worth to have a video net all the audience know that this is not for sale. <laughs> I have to look for the... I know for a fact on the back side we have something that's not for sale. Okay. We have to move over there. Maybe it's a good opportunity oh, yeah. to have a look around the booth. Yeah, cool. If it's not interfering with the loud music. Yeah, yeah. So this is like like more the, um, the cuter style we have and we did some experiments with them. Um, as I, I didn't point it out yet, but um, we um, always try to um, to tell some some little stories with our figures. So, um, like this one, for example, the cactus that cannot go into the uh, blow-up pool because it's occupied. But either case, he cannot go in there because he had a lot of spikes. And also, this one is more based on um, shape language. We wanted to have something that resembles um, also the course C, like. Um, and um, being able to sit on its tail, so it very, looks very lightweight. And first, we came up with the idea for this toucan, which like standing on its own tail. But then we thought, like, if it's standing on its own tail and it's look super lightweight, why not make something that is super heavy and make it stand on the tail? And so we came up with the whale. Yeah, it looks really funny. Okay, and uh, so There's some some older pieces and okay. some kind of history piece. For example, here we have something. 
I'm pretty attached yeah, uh, to. Yeah, this is not for sale, right? Um, this is definitely not for sale. One of our, uh, one of my own, like first figures, which is the paw, and um, we made a, um, a couple of different colorways with that. And as I said, like it's from 2008, um, and it's a vinyl version, um, and still not yet, uh, uh, not any more available here. Only on eBay. <laughs> okay. Oh, so this is uh, uh previously it's a product, but right now this is already sold out, and this is only Absolutely. one left. Absolutely, that's the only one left. This is our one of our personal copies. So okay. it's, even for us, it's really rare. Yeah, and you will collect some of your uh, stuff. I, I try to. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I know some designers they, they don't keep. <laughs> yeah. Um. I try to keep like everything I ever did, but um, I cannot display everything because my uh, apartment is really tiny. Um, so there's not a lot of space for that and my girlfriend is like would go uh, insane oh. if I would display everything it, most of the problem of collectors <laughs> uh, girlfriend <laughs> wife problem, and, right? and the plate space yeah. yeah this one is actually the um, very first thing our course has done yeah, for those one six scale collectors they will be you know the eyes will be like a shining eyes so this is only one for one pardon uh, only one set yeah, limited. Right. That's a, um, a replica from our very first release, mm -hmm. and uh, with a new colorway. Um, but everything else is like um, the original sculpt, and um, um, this is like like for us, it's a very important piece because it, start, uh, it marked the beginning, of course, and how everything started. And um, for like design-wise, that always is um, some focus point for us because it uh, resembles a lot of design aspects we um, include in our existing figures so far. So how does like the sculpting lines work? How do they collide? Where follows, for example, a bow and another line or where lines colliding with each other is like, like determined in those figures? So you can basically say um, these are like the base of every other um, figure. Okay. Yeah, I'm a collector of 16 scale and also a 16 uh, scale manufacturer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we just consider about to make it, uh, you know, a mass production for this kinds of, you know, creations of yours. Pardon? Yeah, would you, would you consider to make a mass product of this kind of, you know, designs? I think since that was one of our first figures, oh. I wouldn't say that we will go back to this um, thing because we also have to develop forwards and we want to explore like new areas. But well, never yeah, say never, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So how, how long? Uh, you know, uh, ten years before, or how, how many years ago you you, you made this? This one is like from 2003, and now you have to help oh. me counting. That means 15 years. 15 years. Oh, so we have so kind of an anniversary here. Oh, so we released those in a special version um, for the 10th anniversary, oh. but we felt that uh, we want to have like the exact um, replica from those figures here to show the guys from um, from Shanghai yeah. um, a little bit of our backstory. Okay. So that this is, is actually what this wall is all about. Oh, that's wonderful design because it's already 15 years ago, and we we ne we can never see that this is done 15 years ago. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. Very good design. So this is some good design can you know pass the time. I mean, yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah. T time is not uh, not a limit. Exactly. And yeah. so as I already told, that's uh, it's good to have it uh, as our basis. It's like like having a book of design guides with you. Um, but we are having like I have the, the figures on my desk. And I always know when I'm not, I'm not not quite sure how to set a line. These determine how the line should work or how the design should function. Okay. Oh, anyway, thank you very much for Swang for the interview and for the time. And I hope you enjoy the show and hope you get more fans and you know big success in uh, you know coming shows in China. Well, will, will you come again to Shanghai or any place city in Song in China? Absolutely. So. Um, since we, we arrived here, it was like a blast and um, I think like people are very friendly and people really like the stuff we do, so there's no reason not to come again. Okay, cool. Next time bring your girlfriend here, you can stay more longer. I absolutely do. <laughs> uh, how about this time, did you bring her here? Right. Did you bring your girlfriend here? Come. Did you bring your girl, uh, go with your, did your girlfriend go with you this time? This time, no. This no, time no, no. no. at home because um, yeah. I, I was... Uh, um, 
we were getting a, sh a child in uh, December, so I'm a very new father. And uh, that's also the reason she is not coming, because she had to watch for, for our daughter. And uh, I have to go, like, one day after the show, I have to go back to be back to family business, yes. Yeah, my wife didn't come with me too, and she's complaining. <laughs> I think that's, that, that's pretty standard. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think we, we all face the same problem. Yeah, <laughs> it's collector's problems. Okay. Well, yeah. Thank you very much, Swang, and I hope you uh, enjoy, and I uh, hope you to see you again. Thank you. Thank you very much for the nice interview, and uh, we will sure see you again. Okay. Thanks. Okay. See you. Bye-bye. Thanks. Bye.